Hello, everybody. We are at the campsite, and it has been two weeks since I've played this game. So I am kind of figuring all the controls out again. So that's the way we came from. That I do know. Don't seem to be able to go under here. Let's just get close to the fire for a moment, because we're getting back out on the snowmobile, and we are actually look. Let's stand. We'll stand next to the fire. Firstly, we'll check under here. Is anything under here? Nothing on the cave wall. Doesn't look like it. This is just more snow or little ice things. Sure, we'll keep that. Why not? Let's have a quick check of the map. Where are we? And where are we going? Okay, so we're at that little campsite. So a little bit further up the road. We have whatever the little walking man means. Damn it, it's not on there. I really hoping they'd be a guide or something. So we've got the little walking man, and then we've got another guard tower. So let's just start making our way up to there, I suppose. I've already taken the photo of that. That suspicious bolt. Pretty sure it does turn a light on here, so that'll be good. Huh. How do I turn the light on? Carl had found what he was looking there for. we goes. He needed to get back on the road. Okay. It's a good thing I found everything there. So there's the little guard tower that I've seen. Observation tower. Makes some sense. <clears throat> Firstly, I'm gonna head up top. What shenanigans could there be up here? I'm just half expecting there to be something... Something's gonna jump out at me. Jesus, he's making this difficult to walk up here, isn't he? Okay, so we just get ourselves a chest. And I will open, and I will take everything I can. Because that is all the good stuff that I need. That is good to know, good to get. Oh, no, nope, just snow in there. I thought there was the, the snow in that was a little... One of the little dots. Grab a bit of wood, just in case there's a fireplace in here, which there will inevitably be. Bear trap there that I probably want to try to avoid. Carl reckoned that the place was still inhabited less than 24 hours ago. His detective sense tingled, revealing to him, or was it the strong smell of wilderness in the air, that there were most likely two men. I mean... Sure. Two blankets. There were doubtless two people here, Carl reckoned. Fair enough. Nothing on there. We got ourselves some letters. What are we reading? Tuesday, March 15. Pierre. I just wanted to I just want to remind you that there are rules. Rules that are meant to be followed. Whether you like it or not, I hear that you've been poaching a lot lately. That you don't even care about dis being discreet anymore. Heck, I don't even have a chance to pretend I don't see you these days. If I could turn a blind eye on this, what will people say? If I continue to turn a blind eye. You've gone too far this time, buddy. I'll have to find you, Wilfred. Ooh, we've got our next one. Pierre, I thought I told you... Pierre the poacher oh. Blair was definitely you not the one who lived here. <clears throat> Carl learned earlier that the man had recently been shredded to death by, allegedly, beasts. Nah, forgot about that. I thought I told you that you went too far. You really hit the last straw this time, and everyone knows it's you. My friendship... With your brother won't save your skin anymore. If you dare touch a single tuft of fur within my jurisdiction, I swear you'll regret it. Like that nice hunting cabin of yours, eh? I think I, I'm thinking of hanging a huge padlock on its door. Would be pretty, don't you think? Point is, if you keep on going, you'll be the one behind padlock and bars and in the in the county's jail in Ruin. Ruin. Take heed, buddy. Really, take heed. Oh, that's it. Okay. Nothing around. Oh, what do I got there? Skinned wolf pets left here to dry. Pelts, not pets. I mean, they could be pets, but... There should be a rifle hanging there. Its owner may not be very far. Oh, yeah? Fair two call. Blankets. That's just the blankets. There were cool doubtless two people here, Carl reckoned. Okay. So let's get out of the way of the door so I can actually leave.
Hey, hands-free flashlight. Now that is some shit that I am after. More snows, just to make sure. What is this stuff? Sure, we'll keep that. What is that? No. A quick yeah, glance like... at the scene was enough for Carl to know that a fight had taken place. Someone had shot a few the bullets here. The must not have sold their skin so easily. Literally. Oh, I'll take a beer. Why not? Anything else around the back here? Nothing really in the trash. How do I put my camera away? There we go. Didn't just drop it, did I? I've been watching a lot of uh, Seven Days to Die, and uh, Q is drop, and I just press Q to get rid of, to put that away. Okay, just lots of rubbish and stuff around here. That's interesting to say the least. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's a path or anything back here, so just gonna have a quick head inside, and I'll check the map again just to see where we're at. And what's up next? Okay, so that's the tower. I suppose it's just continue on up and see what happens. And hopefully the game either tells me or does not tell me, or does tell me whether or not I can, I'm good to leave. Okay. Doesn't have any objections. Like we got some. Whoa, holy shit! What the fuck? Oh, fuck that shit! I'm out. What the fuck is that? Ugh. Oh no. Uh, there's supposed to be a path around here somewhere. There. What the bloody ice dogs and shit and. What the hell? I wonder if I can drive across that. No more ice dogs? Nope. No more going through that. Okay. That makes sense. We got some burning logs and stuff there. Any anything else to drive across here? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Got them icy wolves. How about this way? Might just be time to get off the old snowmobile. Oh, I'm going back into insanity. Holy shit. Go away, you. How about over here? Does the insanity live here as well? I don't. Yes, it does. Hi, wolf. Please. Please go away. Why are you here? Holy shit. Fuck that, I'm out. Run and jump. Wait, what the what was that option? Oh, fuck it then. Just get out of here. Where am I going? What am I doing? Why can't I walk up on the banks? Uh, inventory. Equipment. Let's go the rifle. Burnt cottage. Sure. I suppose it's just kind of follow the um Jesus Christ. Well here's the hoping they have a fireplace in here. Down violent and a burnt smell filled the air. Half of the cabin had been consumed by flames. Carl Little surveyed logo. the chaotic scene, noticing that someone appeared to have intended to use the furniture as bonfire fuel. Carl had no idea how such a mess could have occurred, but he knew it didn't bode well. Hmm. Oh, I gotta get inside. Uh, there we go. So isn't there any chance of wood over here, is there? No, damn it, open up you. Give me that. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure that out, mate. Can't sleep here anymore. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I was really kind of hoping that I'd have a log somewhere. Hardware. Damn it. Okay, so I need to go find a log. I'm going to get my gun back out just in case. I'm going to die of coldness. That's right, coldness, nothing else. Hmm. I'm not really seeing any logs about the place, am I? I wonder if that wolf thing just straight up can't cross water or something. Jesus Christ. Um. I suppose it's just keep going because I can't seem to find any wood. I am starting to freeze though. That's a problem. Maybe I'll get to the next place. Let's have a quick check of the map while I'm walking. Oh, I've got a decent trip. Maybe, what's that? It looks like a... Oh no, it's just logs. Oh, there's a cabin. Come on, be some wood somewhere. Thank Christ for that. Okay, get around the little tree that you could very easily have stood over, walked over the top of. Okay, Cold where's the door? Turned into pain. <laughs> had to find someplace warm. Okay, heading back. The door was locked. Yeah, it was. I just need to not die first. Oh no. I'm sorry, Carl. If this is how it ends, I am truly sorry. Come on, almost there. Ah, oh, piss off. You bastard. Almost there, Carl. Almost there. So close. Oh, bloody hell. How do I... Okay. That makes me feel much better. Now. There isn't some uh, key around in here, is there? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, I'm toasty and warm. I'm, for some reason, sane again. Now I can go. Good to know I can just shoot that wolf. Good to know I'll do that by taking my gun out first. I'm not reloading. Uh, I think it was down the right, wasn't it? Yes, there is definitely a cabin of sorts there. Okay. Now the question is, is there a random key just hiding under a doormat or something around here? I'd be almost willing to bet, maybe. Nothing in there. Right Ooh, under another the arrow. Carl had believed that the object of this crossbow hunting had been a ravenous wolf who was terrorizing the village. But as he noticed the height at which the bolts had been fired, he concluded that the beast had to have been as tall as a man on his feet. Huh. Unlike a gorilla, the thought was chilling. What is that? Like a bar of soap? Okay, nothing. We'll take another log because eventually I will need a place to go. Let's have a look at the journal. Um, da -da 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 -da, that's the crash. Cold mystery. Yeah. So it very much doesn't look like I'm going to be getting all of the, uh, filling out all the details here. But I will be getting a few at least. In the cabin in the middle of the forest. What a thing to wake up to. And hold of a journal that bears witness to a hunt. Someone tried to stop a beast. I can't understand all of it. Okay. Map, where are you? Where are we? There, okay. So if I cross straight through... Hmm. I really want to get inside of this. Damn you. Uh, put away the map. 
get a flashlight. Because I bet there's some good stuff in there. I'm also sure that the key will just be hanging somewhere really simple to get it. And I just don't know because I'm an idiot. But this cabin doesn't seem to be of super importance, maybe. More little ice chunks. Sounds good. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to continue down this path here. And see what else I can find. With my raffle out. Just in case. I do believe there's a small body of water there according to the map. And up here we're going to hang a left. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you're cold. We'll sort that out eventually. Yeah, what's that way? No, we'll go. We're, we're gonna follow the uh, follow the path. No, oh, no, no. That looks like something. No, that's just rocks and stuff. What's we, what's what have we got here? Uh, so this appears to be a direction. Let's definitely go this one. Just run along. All right, not run. Really need to come across another fireplace for very shortly. Oh, of course, there's sticks and shit in the way. Hey, but if it's a fireplace, I'll take it. Uh, no, shit, shit. Rifle, please. Back up. Oh no, I don't have any. Used to create it. I don't have the fire starter. Do you have a fire starter? Uh, matches. Will that do it? A fire can't be started with a snap oh, damn of the fingers. It. Well, it should be able to be. Okay, next place then, where I can freeze to death on the way. Suppose we're going down here. Where are we? Oh no, that's heading backwards now. I don't want to head backwards. Or at least kind of head in the right direction. Well, it doesn't look like I can go too far that way, does it? Okay. So it does kind of look like peeling off was, me, was my option. Anything here? Nothing worth interacting with. Oh crap! I'm a going to die from the, the cold, cold again. was burning, Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He oh, had man. to warm himself. You're running around. Why not do some more? Why don't you heat up from that? Oh no! I don't want to have to go all the way back. I'm really hoping. I'm really just going to hope I can hang a left here. Head up this way. Where is this taking me? Okay, so that's going to take me to the other path by the looks of things. I'm down with that. Oh no. Don't you die on me, Carl. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck is that? Those guys just loaded in. Oh good, ice people. That's promising. Oh, I'm going to die before I even get there. What do you got for me? Two more victims of this ice plague. It's a Carl quick shot. A down his spine. Hey, what it's a crowbar there. And a rifle. Oh, please hurry up, Carl. You're already almost dead. Can I pick that up, can I? Good. Love it. Don't need the rifle. Put that thing away. Holy Jesus. Pull above vision overcome him. Well. What the fuck? Oh, I died. <laughs> God damn it. Where is that checkpoint? Burnt Cottage. Yep, Burnt Cottage it is.
Okay, so I now know where I'm going. I've already gone up and checked out that house. So I can sort of just continue on this time. Oh, and my snowmobile's over here now. That would really help. How did this get across the water? And why couldn't I take it across earlier? Damn it, that really would have helped me. Okay. We will avoid the snow dogs. Don't think I need to go there except to grab another log. That's all I want to do from there. May not mean much, but to grab a log will maybe be the difference between me dying next time. Get back on, we'll go up here and to the left. Just like we did the last time, we'll, we'll go we'll go find the um Go away, ass dog. Shoe ass dog, don't bother me. Shoe ass dog, go away. Why you gotta be so mean? Why are you such a piece of shit? Hey! Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, inventory please. Rifle. Your rifle it is. Oh, uh. yeah. Go away. Okay, that's okay. Get in here. None of the things that I need to do that. That's all good. Get back on this guy. Turn around and go back the other way. Till we find the snow people. That reversing speed is fantastic. That's a tree that I really don't want to hit. I wonder if I can just hit the wolf at full speed. I know, a slight bump. Couldn't possibly go over that, could I? Okay. I'm gonna hit that loading screen again. There it is. Them's loads. Got the ice people. Which point I assume I have to get off in any case. What is that journal entry? Where would they be? Where would they be? I mean, I'm about to take photos of them, so they probably could have just waited till that. Good old Lamoth is mad as he is, wanted to keep some information safe, running is useless, the ice always catches up. Hamilton murder. Hamilton, the young woman. Doesn't really look like there's too much of interest in there, is there? Okay, let's get out the old camera. The Cameronium. Two more victims of this ice plague. Carl felt a chill down his spine. What if he was next? Good. Okay, back up the top here. Nothing Carl off to the sides. Strong, pull above vision, it's just kind of, uh... Don't know if they're taking a photo of that first is going to do anything, but... Hey, hey, new journal entry there. And the assumption is it's associated with that picture, so I'm get to, I get to see it. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Oh, shut up. That? Maybe? Yep. What a strange creature, frozen solid. Am I looking at the source of the terror in the village, or is it just another victim? I do kind of want to look at him. Oh, that ringtone. So good. Just what you want. I always forget these parts are interactive. Oh, there we go. There was Hamilton. Carl recognized him. Good stuff. The question is, was it Hamilton who killed the poor, la the poor young woman? A major hunting accident. Oh, 
Oh, what? oh, right. Yep, that explains that. That's the doctor. The doctor examined the young woman. Uh, she's dead. But death Believe it or not, be overturned. Yeah. What kind of examining did he do? No blood on that bed, though. Suspicious, maybe. That might be the grave that I came across earlier. It was not the type of body you buried in a big ceremony in the village graveyard. Bit of a shitty group of people, aren't they? It had to be hidden. No one could know about this. It's the best way to do that was to have a simple minded man bury the poor girl. Lamotte. The mechanic. Oh, it's remote. Good thing I've been pronouncing that name all wrong the entire time. Kind of looks like we're getting the entire story right now. Like he's just figured it out. The doctor denied the unfair death of the young woman, but Hamilton had him in his grip. Hamilton knew all of the poet's secrets and wouldn't hesitate to reveal them. I know all about your crimes, you little communist. You know mine. What a sordid affair. Huh. Interesting. Carl understood the so, ins and outs of the affair. A the woman doctor had seems been killed like a pretty shitty person. Accident, and a young warrior had damned himself to avenge her. Not gonna lie, touching that does not seem like a good idea. Kinda seems like it'd be pretty hot. But Hamilton, the one responsible, had already been killed. And so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance. And now, recklessly, Carl had pulled a bolt from the beast's heart. A beast who was but a young free man lost without his fiance, and who had, out of hatred, become Wendigo. Uh, what the fuck is happening? You don't mind me asking, good sir? Uh, can you, uh,. Not? Where even is the center of this gun? What about light? Do you like light? What is even around me right now? Don't suppose I get to walk too far along this path, now do I? What about fire? Do you like fire? You don't seem like the kind of guy who would like fire. Nope. Yep, you're attacking me. Oh my god. I keep really really poorly missing this wolf. Go away. Oh! Good day to you, sir. Um... <clears throat> what the fuck do I have? Steak, journal, map, camera, crowbar, Lee Enfield rifle, hands free flashlight. I'm not gonna lie. I am confused. Perhaps? No, I was thinking maybe I could take a... Uh, make a uh, Molotov cocktail or something, but... Shoot. Ah. Don't stop. Holy Jesus, there's two of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just keep moving. Head along this way. This looks like there's a path. I don't have any bullets left. Kind of seems like I don't have any bullets left. That's a problem. Oh, not that way. Oh, no. 
Didn't I have like 10 bullets? I have no bullets. This is not a good thing. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Uh, uh, uh. I do have lots of health kits, so this, that's good at the very least. Maybe if I make it down to the end of here, I get to a point where I can. Uh, Jesus Christ. Consumable. Just keep sprinting. Because that Wendigo. Come on. We're so close to maybe something. Oh, you're not. I can't shoot you. Why do I keep trying? Nope. Gotta go this way, huh? Fair enough. Can't argue it. He's just. He's just there. He's just chilling. Damn it, Wendigo. Why you gotta be bulletproof? And damn it, wolves. Why you gotta exist? Ow, ow, ow. Hey, you got some people, though. The cemetery. I'm a little bit curious as to where I am right now. Didn't say stop, you son of a bitch. Okay. Go away. Where the fuck am I trying to get to? Am I just gonna die by the snow again? Uh, what's through here? There's the path I looks like I need to take. Ow. Well, not Al. Haha, that's a good thing. I can just keep going. We need to find somewhere with fire. Right, stairs. Go away, map. We need to get that shit out of the way so I can sprint. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Okay, well he's not following me right now. I kind of get the feeling I'm really in need of a fire. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. <laughs> okay, we got a building with electricity. Where am I? Where am I? There. What the fuck am I doing there? I suppose it's just kind of... This is where I needed to go, huh? Well, this direction was pointless, to say the least. No, it wasn't. Aha! What is that? And can I flick it? Does not look like I can. Damn it. Okay. Get out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like that's a generator. I can deal with that. That being in. Oh, nope, there he is. That's the, that's the sounds I was hearing. Okay, just keep running then. Just really hoping I'd be able to heat up a little. I kinda need that boat, don't I? Ah, uh, nuts. Hello. How are you doing today? Um, it was a very an impressive death. Okay, where was I last at? Cemetery, sure. So that'll be just after the the wood falls down. So that'll be uh, nice and. It's fairly close, I can deal with that. The cemetery. The narrow Turn that flashlight on. But for how long? Ignore all the other things. Just get down there. Okay, so good thing is my heat is up right now because uh, the reload seems to have reset that. Health could be better. Shut up you scary monster bastard. Stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. Ha 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 ha. Good on Carl's mum. Come on. I wonder if that is just a randomly triggered event or if it happens specifically as you walk past that bit. Because I assume I have to get on that boat instead of walking past it this time. 
like a fool. Like the foolishly foolish fool that I am fooled. Oh yeah, that dude is... He is just terrifying. Also, really not what I expected to be a, a window going to be. Get in! Get that shit started! Get the fuck out! Damn. Three achievements all at once. Fair enough, good sir. Fair enough. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Uh. Could it be that all this was but a story of justice and vengeance? The soulful doctor avenging his fiancée's unjust death by avenging this young woman as though she was his lover. Are these passionate feelings not precisely the kind of feelings that could cause a storm, petrify people deep inside, create monsters? Is Carl the Doctor? That was a weird ending to a game. Like, there was just... You, you got the resolution of the murder, but what the fuck is the Wendigo? What the hell? I... I don't know what happened. What... What is this game? I'm so confused. Well... Now that the credits are over, what's what's on the other side of this water? Because there certainly shouldn't be a fucking Wendigo. Oh, got ourselves another boat. Well, hello there. How are you doing? A survivor. We have found a survivor. Uh, I'm still so confused. Well, that appears to be it for Kona, as far as I can tell. Back to the menus, love it. So, that was a weird ending to that game. Like, there was all these little, like, supernaturally bits leading up to that, and then fucking Wendigo just chases you for ten minutes. What the fuck? Well, that's it for this one. I hope you're con as confused as I am, because then I don't feel alone. Uh, I'll s thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.